Hello friends, myself Dr. Madhuri Shinva, Certified Dermatologist from India, discussing Dermatologist topics in my YouTube channel. So this is the question for this day. In this, we are going to see important science in the dermatology. So in this question, if you have marked option A as the answer, you are absolutely right. So let us see what are the other signs which are discussed in the other options. So Nikolsky sign, Nikolsky sign, whenever you get to see this, you should always remember acantholysis, acantholysis, acantholysis. What is this acantholysis? So in the epidermis, you all know that keratinocytes are the cells which are predominantly present and desmoglein will help in attaching these keratinocytes in between each other. And there are some conditions where there will be autoantibodies against this desmoglein and we are going to identify because of this destruction of, of these desmoglein, there is going to be separation of the keratinocytes, which is called as acantholysis. And the resultant cells are called as acantholytic cells or also called as zang cells, which are nothing but the keratinocytes. So clinically, we can identify this when we apply tangential pressure over the skin surface, there is going to be formation of peeling off of the skin and thereby forming of erosion can be noted. And this is classically, classically seen in the case of intraepidermal blistering disorder. And the most important example which you must remember is Femtigus. It can also be seen in the case of Staphylococcal Scarlet Skin Syndrome. And this Nikolsky sign is basically going to help us to differentiate between intraepidermal blistering disorders and subepidermal blistering disorders. That is one point which you must identify. And by this time, you should know that Nikolsky sign is positive in intraepidermal blistering disorder. There is one more term called as pseudo Nikolsky sign. Why is it called pseudo but not true Nikolsky sign? Is because the underlying mechanism for this, in this also, there is going to be separation or peeling off of the superficial layers of epidermis from the underlying dermis. But the underlying mechanism in this case is not acantholysis, but in this case, it is necrosis. Necrosis of the keratinocytes. And the important examples which you must remember are. Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis. These are the important examples which you must remember. And what is oil drop sign? I have uh, explained it in detail. I will leave, uh, will leave the link for this in the uh, i card above in the description below. So this is seen in the case of papillosquamous disorder that is psoriasis in which in the nail bed, the appearance of a oil drop like feature uh, can be noted which will appear clinically as yellow red discoloration as you can see here. So this is pathognomonic sign for nail psoriasis. And so among the given options, so let us you know quickly summarize Nicole's case sign it is going to be positive in femfigus group of disorders which are intraepidermal blistering disorder whereas pseudo Nicole's case sign is going to be positive in SJS and TEN and yes oil drop sign it can be positive in psoriasis but not lichen planus. So if this video was helpful please do hit that like button if it was helpful and this is tomorrow's MCQ please try to answer this in the comment section below and if you are not yet following me or subscribing me on uh, YouTube please do follow and, and you can also join my telegram group the links are there in the description below. Thank you so much myself Dr. Madhuri Shinvas. Happy learning. Sarvam Sri Krishna Pram Sarvajana Sukhina Bhavantu.